Hi guys and welcome to another video. In this video I'll be talking about why you should post your art online, whether you're a hobby artist or whether you wish to start a career in art. While I discuss this topic there will be a video in the background of my drawing process of this eagle eye using pastel pencils. I use pan pastels and pastel pencils for this piece. I've come up with five main reasons as to why I think it's a great idea to start posting your art online. This may be on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, YouTube, anything. I personally started posting on my Instagram back in January last year. I was really nervous to do this, but once I started posting my art, I realised how much it was making me grow as an artist and was giving me more and more confidence to continue creating art. My first point is, the constructive criticism can help you to improve. Even if you're just getting into art and you don't have amazing skills, posting your art online can be a great way to get feedback and get some constructive criticism. For example, you may post a picture of a drawing of a dog which you aren't completely happy with, but you aren't sure how to improve it. Other people may then comment and give you advice on how you can improve it. You could even contact other artists and ask directly for their advice. They may give you some advice or something, make you think of something you may never have thought of otherwise. When I first made my Instagram account, I was afraid that I would get a lot of bad comments and no one would have any interest in what I was posting. But neither of these things happened. I mean, very occasionally I get the odd horrible comment but you can't really avoid it. I just delete those comments and move on. The amount of good and helpful comments you get will outweigh any bad comments. It's also fun to connect with other artists and get advice from each other. My second point is, it can give you confidence. After starting to post my art on my Instagram, I realised how much it gave me the confidence to keep posting more and more of my art. The lovely comments I got from people made me realise that people actually liked my art and were interested in seeing my progress. I then went on a few months later and set up a Facebook page for my art. At first, it was mainly just family and friends who were commenting on my posts, but after time I had more and more people commenting and sharing my art. It really gave me the confidence to keep going with it. If you're lacking confidence with your art, definitely consider posting your art online and you'll be surprised at how lovely most people are. My third point is that it gets your art out there and it gets your work seen. Especially if you're wanting to start a career in art, posting your art online is the best way to get your work seen. Every single day, most people scroll through their social media feeds for at least a few minutes and you never know, they may come across some of your artwork. You can't expect for your art to be seen unless you physically get it out there. I know there are other ways of doing this, for example through galleries and things like that, but posting your art online is the quickest and easiest way to get your artwork seen. On Instagram, if you are just starting out, definitely use lots of relevant hashtags to increase the chances of having your artwork seen. Also comment on other artists' work who inspire you and try to socialise with other people online because this also increases the chances of getting your artwork seen. You don't even need an amazing camera or anything to take good photos of your art. I use my phone which does the job just fine. Just make sure to take photos of your artwork in decent natural lighting so that the photo is clear and you can see your artwork in its true colours. Point number four is that it helps you to grow a following. This point links onto my last one, that posting your art online can help you to grow a following. The more you post, the more you're going to see your following grow. I know it's difficult to regularly post photos on your Instagram and Facebook as there are only so many art pieces you can create in a certain amount of time, so what I do is I take progress photos of my art and post those. This is a great way to have something to post and it also means that if you come across a problem or get stuck on something then you can ask for advice as you go too. Growing a following does take a long time and it happens at a different pace for everyone. I started my Instagram in January last year and it took me a whole year to reach a thousand followers. But then in the past six months I have gained nearly a further 2,500 followers. So it really does grow exponentially. Having a certain amount of followers isn't that important anyway and it's so easy to get caught up and start obsessing with the amount of followers that you have. It's more important to make sure that you're happy and that you're continuing to enjoy the art that you're creating. I just feel that social media is a great way to connect with other people and grow your art skills and get yourself out there. You will notice the more that you post your art online, you'll start to see that there are a few people who always comment and like each of your posts and it's great to have this kind of support. 
My last main point is that people may even become interested in purchasing your artwork. Because your work is being posted online, it is available for anyone to see. This means that potential customers may be following you or come across your artwork and you may even get people interested in purchasing some of your artwork. This isn't something that everyone wants to do, especially if you aren't comfortable with the idea and you only want to create personal pieces for yourself and that's absolutely fine. But if you would like to sell your artwork, then posting your art online increases the chances of someone being interested in purchasing your art. Without social media, I probably wouldn't have sold any of my artwork or had barely any commissions either, as most people have seen my artwork through online. Even if it was someone I knew already, they probably wouldn't have seen my art if I hadn't, hadn't posted photos of it online as I'd never really showed anyone my artwork before I started posting it online. Even if you don't want to post your artwork online, that fi that's fine too. It can be useful though to look at other artists' work on Instagram or Pinterest or something because it can really help to inspire you. Every now and again I get into a massive art slump and have absolutely no motivation to draw because I don't know what to draw or I just don't have any ideas. I'm sure everyone who creates art regularly can relate to this. One thing which really can help to bring me out of the art slump is looking at other artists' work. I get inspiration from seeing so many amazing pieces of art, it makes me want to create amazing work too. Or I may see someone else's amazing drawing of a tiger for example, which may make me think, oh wow, I'd love to draw a tiger. It's little things like that which can just inspire me and trigger me to want to create art. If you really cannot get out of an art slump, then sometimes you just need a couple of days break and then look at some really inspirational artwork and I usually get some of my motivation back. I get a lot of my motivation from posting my art on social media because of the responses I get. It makes me realise that people do like looking at my art and that I should never give it up. YouTube is another great way of getting your art out there as you could post time lapses of your art. You don't even need to add a voiceover if that isn't your thing. You could just put some music in the background so people can just sit back and enjoy your art process. There are so many ways nowadays to get your work seen and the good thing about it is that it's completely free you can pay for ads on Facebook and Instagram and stuff, but it isn't really necessary at all. Social media followings will grow over time as long as you are consistent with it. So just a little bit about this eye study that I've been working on in the background. It only took me about an hour to draw, and that's all thanks to pan pastels. I found a new love for pan pastels as they really help to speed up my drawing process, and that enables me to create more art in a shorter space of time. I just use the pan pastels as a base and then use pastel pencils on top for all of the details. If it wasn't for social media and YouTube, I never would have discovered pan pastels in the first place. The online art community is a great place to discover new products and techniques which may soon become your go-tos. And to be honest, without YouTube and social media, I never would have even considered using coloured pencils or pastels at all for my artwork, as I didn't know that such amazing art could be created using these mediums. Eyes are my absolute favourite thing to draw. If you have any other animal eye studies you would like to see, please leave a comment below. Also, let me just say how satisfying is peeling off the tape at the end of a drawing. I absolutely love it. I really hope you enjoyed this chatty video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys!